Hi guys, welcome to the big kitchen where big meals are made with a lot of love and passion. You know, cooking is uh, my passion. I really love cooking and when I'm at home, trust me, my kitchen gets dirty. Seriously dirty. <laughs> In a good way though, you know, when you're growing up, um, our parents and our grandmothers or aunties teach us how to make different bites uh, like samosas, mandazi, chapati, uh, local pancakes that are made with ndizi, those small, small uh, sweet bananas, you know them. And it is interesting, you know, when you grow up and travel or go to different places, you also get to see different kinds of dishes and bites and you wonder how they are made. Now, today we're going to look at the banana vanye. I didn't know you could fry bananas, guys. Trust me, this is very, very interesting to watch. And if you have your pen and paper ready, just get it ready so you can learn how to make the banana French beignet, the French banana beignet on the big kitchen. Welcome to the show. Enjoy. The big kitchen. Hi guys, we are in the big kitchen and as always, um, when we are making those uh, unique, tasty, delicious, mouth-watering snacks, we are always joined by Chef Simon. You all know him, yeah? <laughs> you all know him. Uh, he's introduced us to so many uh, snacks, the tart, the tin, uh, the churro bites, things that we didn't know. We just watched on TV maybe or so in different places, but we didn't know what, uh, what they were and how they are made. Chef Simon has joined us today. Thank you so much for joining us again. Thank you very it's always much. a pleasure to have you here. Thank you. Uh, and uh, guys, these are the ingredients. Uh, we, we, we're going to make the uh, banana, beignet. banana peignet. Yeah. What is peignet? peignet? It's in French? Yeah, yeah. It's peignet, French. French. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so banana peignet. <laughs> peignet means flies because we're going to fly. We're going to fry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> banana peignet, guys. The, the names are so interesting, you know. And these are the ingredients that we have here. Uh, allow me to introduce them to you. The ingredients we actually know, guys. These are the things we know. We can buy in any supermarket or our shops and do these things. We can do them because there's nothing really hard about that. So we have sugar here and then we have uh, caramel sauce. Is it caramel? Caramel sauce. Then we have the chocolate sauce and we have the oil here. Is it any sort of oil? Yeah. Or any, specifically? Any, any, oil, any kind of oil? Yeah. Okay. And we have mayai. And mayai is in Swahili. Those are the eggs. We have eggs here. And we have the ginger here. Uh, ginger powder, actually. Yeah. The baking soda powder, rather. Yeah. And then we have the salt. And we also have the uh, vanilla flavoring essence, as well as the menvu. Babuitabu. 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 Ndizi. <laughs> ndizi. Actually, it's also in Swahili. Ndizi. Yes. yes. Uh, we have ndizi here. We have the milk there. And we have the flour. We can't do these things with, without flour, guys. Yes. Chef, thank you for joining us again. Yeah. I can't wait to see the banana abenye yes. and to test it. Yeah. All right. Let's okay. get started. The Pink Kitchen. Now, what hmm. we're going to start with, hmm. it is a, a coating. A coating. Coating. That, okay. that, that is also a dough. A dough, okay. Yeah, we mix it with flour, okay. some milk, okay. some sugar, okay. some oil. Uh, after mixing it, we'll hmm. be dipping our banana flight there on the egg. Now, we start with one egg. We have to break it. You know, I, I always it. love to give him time so that yeah. I don't take his attention. Yes. Allow me to give you time so yeah. you can show us exactly how this is made. All right. I can also have a chance to learn. All right, I first whisk it. Just more time. Then I add a little bit of sugar. I whisk it. There is also this flavor here, like uh, this ginger, a bit of it, baking powder, 
like a one and a half spoon, a little bit of salt, and some vanilla incense for the flavor. There I mix this one first. After mixing, I get my flour here, just a little bit of it. I pour in there. Plus a milk. It doesn't mean that you pour all flour at once, just slowly. You add a little bit of milk. It's a simple dough to make, as you see. A little bit of oil. Now this sauce is ready, as you see. It's ready now. The Pink Kitchen. Now the next step, it is to cut my banana. Any, any design which I feel like after mixing your dough. For me, I prefer these slices. I move the skin gently. These are my bananas. It's ready now. That is the sauce. Soko, soko, to dire mu kau ka ka briefly. Abad dea ka joining us show right now. Uh, Tegere what we've mixed in this bowl. This is the sauce that we have here. To gena kola banana penye. The pink kitchen. Chef, to dire mu koka tono. Abad dea ka joining a program. Tegere mm. where we stand right now. Okay. Mm. This one here, we call it. A, it's a coating. But after mixing it, it's mm. a sauce. Okay. That is our banana. All right. You just slice any slice which you feel like. Mm. It's just a light, a light what? A light bite for their breakfast in the morning. For breakfast in the so morning. So to make this sauce here, mm. you have to be with the eggs, mm -hmm. some uh, flour, mm -hmm. some baking powder so that it can, it's not sticky okay. to uh, uh, on the banana. Okay. You have to be with some salt, okay. some ginger powder mm. for the flavor mm. taste. You have to do with that vanilla okay. first. Okay. Then you mix them all together with a little bit of milk. Mm. Ah, yeah. And then you make the sauce. Ready, you if you don't sauce. have vanilla, you can use any other. Ah, even this ginger. The it's ginger, okay. ginger, cinnamon, cinnamon work, strawberry. Any strawberry. Depend okay. on you, you which flavor. Depending you want. on the okay. Yeah. So any flavor can work. Any there. flavor can work. You mix it well, and then you get this sauce. Yeah. Guys, this is how it looks like. Not too hard. Not, not too, too hard. Not soft. too thick. Not too light. It's like. Okay, trusting. Yeah. So after after this, we peel the andizi, the andiz. mm, banana, or uh, banana, and then, then you slice it. We slice the them. way it is. Okay. And then the next part is the to next fry. Part is to fly them. All right. Then perfect. after flying, I will show you how to the presentation of it. Mm. Even the way I will eat it. Oh, okay. Interesting. So guys, uh, we're going to the process of frying the banana beignet. See how it turns out. Eh? Are you ready? Okay, let's do this. The Pink Kitchen. All right, guys, we are finally here. We are making the banana beignet. Uh, you saw the process of how he mixed the uh, the sauce here. So it's time to fry, right? Yeah. This is these are all new things. Chef. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Imagine yes. frying this. So eh? this is a fresh oil. Okay. It's already warm. Okay. What I do first. Others they use those stones, but for me, let me mm. use my hands so that okay. it can be safe. Right. You have to dip it, okay. both sides. Okay. Then you remove it carefully. Okay. Yeah. Don't take it with a lot of. Uh, then you dip it in your what? Wow. You have to shake it a bit so that it will not stick down. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Who would have thought? It's very simple to make. Very, very simple. How long does it take to fry? Just small time. When it turns color, just like five minutes to ten, 
Because you, you don't have to golden burn color. Golden color. And that's it. Yes. You have to be careful. Don't let the oil to burn it a lot. This one, it's already. And then you're done. It's simple. It's simple. Anyone can do it. Especially the bites. Eh? Anyone can do it. Very, very, very simple. simple process. Very simple. And then you have a bite at home. Wow. So guys, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to make this as well. Uh, remember, oh, wash your hands. Eh? They have to be clean. You don't, just don't touch in things like that. So you dip it in. Both sides, right? Yeah. The banana beignet. Here we go. Yakubi gun no rampaka. Oh my god. Hey. Nice. <laughs> but when you're cooking, honestly, why would you have long nails? Eh? You really need to have short nails if you want to cook. You have to have short nails. And people might want to have their long nails. It's their choice to make, isn't it? Yeah. With your mind, a choice. If you want long nails, it's your choice to make. Though, when you're cooking now, you really need to be clean. You have to turn, turn this one so that okay. it's not burn. Okay. Wow. Banana beignet Banana is done. Beignet. Interesting. That's the spatula you use to remove. Oh. And I can't turn the color golden, golden. Let me start with this. How beautiful. How beautiful. Who would have thought that you can fry in Dizzy? Huh? Who would have thought you can use a meme? Mm, can can you imagine? Yes. I mean, it's like unbelievable. Like, yes. we don't know these things. Eh? Yes, yes. So, it's interesting to learn such things, guys. And then your Sunday morning or evening bites are done, guys. Mashallah, this is really nice. Thank you yeah. so much, Chef. This is really, really nice. Welcome back to the big kitchen, guys. I'm still with the chef Simon, the one and only, who always makes uh, those, you know, uh, snacks interesting to watch, interesting to cook, easier to make than I. You know, someone can look at this and wonder how it yeah. was made. Yeah. But if you have a chance to watch the big kitchen on Sundays at 2, uh, 2 uh, 30 p.m., you get a chance to learn all these and more with the chef Simon. Yes. Banana banana banana. Right. Now here it's ready, mm. finished to fly. Okay. Now I'm just going to show you the presentation of it. Okay. Uh, so that if you have a visitor or any, anybody, <laughs> you can, <laughs> you can, you can <laughs> Interesting. You hey. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that's a chocolate sauce. Mm. We always eat banana with chocolate sauce okay. or honey if you have honey. Mm. And that one here is just a caramel sauce. Caramel. caramel sauce, I just made it by myself. Wow. That's why I always keep on. We should get a time. Out. We should get a time to learn how to make those sauces. Yeah. Very the, same, simple. the same way we did the other sauces oh, for yes, the mayonnaise. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. It's very simple. Next okay. time we'll just try to make it. Okay. Okay. Here it is. When I put my glass in the middle. Banana beignet. Banana beignet. Is it uh, more tastier when it's hot or uh, warm? Yeah, most of the people they like these things when they are hot. Hot. But others they just like, like them it when warm. cold. Warm or cold. Yeah. Okay. But if you put this one in the fridge, mm. just even the next day, it can be even more tastier. tastier. Than this one. Oh. You can feel the banana and everything. Oh. Yeah, it can even separate inside. You can even see the range of the banana. Oh. Inside. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay. Other people they prefer to put a little bit of uh, icing. Oh, even the icing? Icing. Okay. If you have like different people who are going to eat it, mm. you change it in the garnish. So you put some caramel yeah. on the side as well. 
caramel also. Nice. Of the power there. So you leave the rest for the chocolate? Yeah. Even the, the chocolate, you have to get some. Wow. And you pour on the side also. also. Mm. And that's our As banana beignet. Yeah. Banana beignet. Wow. Who would have thought, guys? Who would have thought that you can make banana beignet like this? You just need a few ingredients. Huh? You only need uh, vanilla, then you need milk, you need sugar, you need flour, you need ginger for, you know, the spicing, all the flavor, and then baking soda or powder. powder. Yeah, some salt. Oh my God, and oil. Goodness. Like, honestly speaking, <laughs> someone would say, I'm looking at this here, and how is it made? That's banana banye. Banana banye. So someone would think it's that. Thank you so much. This is a very good one. So how do you eat it? Uh, that one. Do you eat it with the uh, juice? Um, with the uh, tea, coffee, soda? Take, normally, they mm. just take this one with uh, juice. With juice. Or coffee. Yeah. Or coffee. It's sour one because you, you inside the banana is sweet. Right. Yeah. If you want, if you want to take it with uh, plain as it is, you have to pour this sauce. Okay. So you can use it as a bite anywhere you want. Okay. In the evening, in your bar, or anywhere you want. Mm. Because you feel like you want to take some. Mm. You just take it with those sauces. Oh. But if you are going to eat it with uh, juice, you don't put any sauce. Okay. You just eat it plain. Okay. So yeah. this is where does this come from? That one uh, it came from France. France. You know those people? The French have, people have yes. so many confessions. Yeah, they, they have uh, artificial things all the time. Okay. So they plan things for the next day. Okay. Because they can even get bananas, at times they can get protein and so on. So oh. if, um, in terms of they don't want to lose it, okay. in the way how they can form it in different ways. Oh. The same banana here. Okay. They can eat it as a, a, a ripe banana. Others they can eat it as a um, beignet, as you see here. Right. Others they can. There are many types of. So many things. So many things. Wow. Mm -hmm. And then we, you see, we, we make uh, our local pancakes yeah. with uh, these. Yes. These uh, sweet bananas, small, yeah. small ones. But for us here in the hotel, this banana, we can make a lot of cake. Nice one. Oh. Yeah, for us, we, we just throw this cake out of the. Out of the banana. Yeah. Okay. So guys, if you've ever seen the process of making our local uh, pan, tomato pan, tomato pan, waffle, no one, no one, no one, no one, no dark, dark. Dark, dark. So, what are these? Oh, no? These are the ones. They are the ones. Yeah. I think it's mixed. Yeah. It's mixed. Yeah. It's mixed. Yeah. It's mixed. Yeah. Very, 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 but here we have something different, banana beignet, guys. Um, this is something you can do at home. Very, very simple to make. If you join us every Sunday, 2.30 p.m., trust me, you will learn a lot of things, guys. Banana beignet for you here. Send in your messages, your requests, if you need to learn something. Uh, pastry best. The chef is here, he will teach us. And we also have other chefs here at Hotel Granada. Uh, to take us through different dishes guys they have the best meals these are some of the things they can do for you if you have parties here birthday parties baby shower parties if you have uh, conferences and you need to snack these are some of the things that they can do for you so thank you guys for tuning in today it's been an amazing session very short yeah very lovely and interesting we have the banana beignet guys if you hear banana beignet uh, you remember that we talked banana beignet yes. on uh, the big kitchen. Yes. Chef, try answer, try answer. Abantu ina yeah. kagamu kwa basula yo. Basula ya kagamu kwa basula uli de wali. So when you come on, you are expecting more, more, more things because more we things. have a lot. We have a lot. Different countries. Next time I'll go, I'm going to change at least English things. Okay. With this France, French yeah. item. Okay. Next time it will be the English one. English? Yeah. Handcake. I can't, yeah. You know, I've tested the English pancake before. Yeah. I'll actually know how to make it as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yours could be different from mine. Yeah. So, Okuiga, 
kuyongerayo eh tekugwayo thank you guys for tuning in today we will see you again next sunday same place same time remember to go for vaccination in any um uh, hospital around kampala uh there are you know a lot of things going on so anything can happen go for vaccination it's very 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 important i also vaccinated twice and i'm done so it's your turn to vaccinate yeah let's fight covid together thank you so much bye bye